What's happening, people? And once again, welcome back to youtube.com forward slash Cubcam TV for this, another edition of Cub Reacts, as we continue to explore the latest new musical flavor worldwide. We're back inside the building once again, checking out this one, brand new from the one they call Benson, formerly known as Budju. It goes by the name Prey. This one is really exciting. It's been picking up a lot of attention today. And as always, I'm super excited to jump into it and give it a quick reaction and breakdown. As always, as well, if you are new to the channel and you are enjoying all of this content we're putting together for you make sure you are getting involved by hitting that subscribe button on the right hand side of the page of course turning notifications on as well leaving a like leaving a comment all that good stuff without further ado let's jump right into this one let's go okay. proper unique rhythms on this my skin come yellow, you say I know sappy or so. I know sappy or so. Already, whenever we see TG Amori pop up on video credits, we know we're probably in for a bit of a good time visually. Already, this looks stunning. The lighting, the use of colour, the use of uh, costume and design as well. It looks fantastic as a video. The instrumental itself is interesting. Some really bizarre kind of moogie chords. Um... Combining with a unique sense of rhythm as well. The whole track is just breathing uniqueness and there's a real kind of, I don't know, abstract feel to it and some cool rhythms in there as well. I'm liking where Benson's taking this. Are you hearing those drum lines going on underneath? This tune has got bounce to it, man. There's a real vibe about the whole way it's been put together. Benson's vocals are great. Obviously, he has that unique kind of squeezed vocal texture. No one else is really rolling with that at the moment. Next to that, you've got some cool kind of melodics going on, an overall fun sense of uh, harmony throughout the tune as well. The drums are really nicely processed, uh, and the bass line is also providing a lot of rhythm as well. Really cool. There's definitely a level of storyline that I'm not really clocking in the music video, um, but the whole feel of the tune is beautiful. Some excellent string work going on in the backdrop. The whole arrangement is almost bone-chilling um, in the way it's being put together. The harmonic structure of the tune is fantastic. It's sending you in a thousand different directions emotionally. This is what Benson does, man. He works really nicely over these more sort of structured instrumental backgrounds, and he's killing this one. Two shows killed out on the same night. The same night I was thinking about it nice. My shawty ain't no so fifth right. A fine face and the body on skin tight. Skin tight, so you know it don't fit right. I Man, this year I was giving them fist fights. Fighting on my demons at midnight. Why blowing back as my windpipe? Told them no slip my shit right. Now I'm at the old two past midnight. I'm playing two nights and I'm outside. Feels right, now you know it all feels right. Some really cool additional chord uh, progressions going on with this as well. As I said, the whole tune seems to me to just be breathing originality. There are elements in this you're not expecting to hear in a typical Afrobeats tune today. There are obviously some more classic elements that are more sort of um, old school and the way they've been repurposed and repushed into this is really interesting. Um, but the use of those kind of almost airy chords there, that sort of pew, pew. Those sort of sounds, really, really unique. And again, stunning videography from TG Amori. I mean, look at this as a backdrop. This looks beautiful. Like it's, um, it's testament to TG's ability, to TG's overall visual ability. The fact that he is able to keep wowing us with shots like this, beautifully done, man. <laughs> I'll 
safely say I have no doubt that I'm missing certain um, storylines or plot lines that are probably doubling up lyricism wise and I'm just taking this in for what it is sonically um, I never claimed to be a lyric expert I never claimed to be a video expert what I, what I like to think I'm pretty solid at is being able to break down um, actual music production and music kind of composition this is stunning um, again the use of that constant choral line which is really the kind of the centerpiece of this as an arrangement you're then combining that with those drums which have such a natural punch to them it's crazy how many different directions this is going are you hearing these cello lines going on in the background like it's Jesus Christ, it's nuts. There's there's something very uplifting about combining choral segments with high-pitched strings and then that vocal from Benson, which just cuts through the middle of the mix um, beautifully well. The video, as I said, there's definitely bits I'm missing, but visually it looks fantastic. Um, there's clearly a lot of storylines and threads which are being woven really nicely by TG. This is just pure enjoyment, man. Let's go. Not ideal, but there we go. TG Amori, uh, the man himself. Let me find a shot towards the end of both of them there we go fantastic stuff man T.G. Amori is a born storyteller he is a born master when it comes to the visual side of creativity there aren't many in the world currently doing it as consistently and at, at such a unique level as T.G. is currently um, I really enjoyed it man Benson doing what Benson does providing these beautiful sonic textures within his vocal then combining them with what I want to call uh, unique um, unique uh, what's the best way to describe it unique and emotional backdrops um, that provide something truly astonishing to be honest with you the combination of that cello line i think it's cello with the kind of chord progressions with the choral backdrop and benson's vocal all together it creates a stunning concoction and i did really enjoy this one i know you guys are already very much promoting and pushing this one everywhere so i'm doing my bit to support that as well as always friends let me know all of your thoughts on the tune in the comment section down below very keen to hear what you guys are thinking about this one because it's a little bit abstract and i'd love to hear um how you're finding it listening to it as always as well if you are new to the channel make sure you're getting involved by hitting that subscribe button on the right hand side of the page of course turning notifications on as well leaving a like leaving a comment and all of that good stuff and we shall see you all next time peace make sure you subscribe to the youtube channel right now Cup cam tv stay locked Welcome to Cubs Clubhouse, live on Brighton's premier platform for new music, Platform B.